to J&J Whiskey Review. I'm Jamie. I'm Jason. I've been enjoying whiskey for 10 plus or minus years now. Uh, I really enjoy it um, from collecting the hard to get stuff to just enjoying the simple 20, 30, 40 dollar bottles. And I'm, I've been basically a beer guy for the majority of my life and just in the last couple years kind of got into the new whiskey scene and going to a couple whiskey tastings here and there and hanging out with this man. And uh, so, you. yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, basically new to the scene, novice, and that's basically the premise of the show, really. It's, you know. Yeah, so we're, we're actually going to be tasting these higher end bottles all the way to the lower end bottles. And, and the purpose of this review is, is it worth it? So whenever you buy that two, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollar bottle, two thousand dollar bottle, whatever your budget may be, is it worth it? So don't waste your money. We'll sample it for you. But really, when you're out at a bar, you'll know, I don't know, that, that bottle, that, that, that might not be worth it. Right. And then basically we're going we're gonna to taste the high end, middle, middle range, low end, and then on Friday. The Big Friday show will be a blind taste test where we will determine the winner of that week and get you prepared for the weekend so you can party with the good knowledge of which bottle to buy. All right, and today we're going to start, uh, matter of fact, we're going to start out with one of the higher end bottles uh, and hard to get if, if you can get it. It is uh, Pappy Van Winkle, uh, 15 year old, 107 proof Kentucky bourbon. This will be the bottle that that we're going to be sampling and it goes anywhere from a thousand on up if you can even get it so um, we're going to find out we're going to let you know our opinion is it worth it this hefty price tag is is it worth the price yeah so, like i said they they've uh, it's been in a couple movies with uh, vince vaughn and owen wilson and uh, yeah old google and is it is it driven by the actual product the taste there's a lot of people out there that say yes. Some people, you know, think it's because it's popular with the movie and just got got big that way. Yeah. Well, without further ado, we're going to give you our opinion. We're going to. Is it worth it? So, drink it down. down. So I, I thought, I thought it had a little little burn being 107 you know proof but it wasn't too bad the flavor was uh was was unique but i didn't i did not think that for that price that you're going to be spending on that bottle that the flavor was that great like i i would not want to spend that amount of money uh on that it just in my opinion was not worth um that 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 price of that bottle all right so i i, I enjoyed the burn coming out, uh, 107 proof. You can you can definitely tell that. And then, um, you know, the taste was was good. Price point to taste, not so much. That in my my judgment, you know, you're you're, you're able to get that kind of flavor in a much less box. You know. So there you have it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's review, uh, and watch us again tomorrow. Follow us on Facebook, like us, um, go to our website, uh, drinkordown.com, um, and, and if you have any comments, please, we'd love to hear from you. Again, thank you very much, and see you tomorrow.